are you? I hope you are ready for today's story. Today I have a nice story for you. This story is called The Hungry Caterpillar. But before I tell you the story, I am going to show you some vocabulary that you need to know. Alright, so get ready. Alright, now let's check the vocabulary that we're going to see in this story, okay? So the first one. This is an apple, apple. This is a pear, pear. This is a plum, plum. This is a strawberry, strawberry. This is an orange, orange. This is a piece of cake, a piece of cake. This is an ice cream cone, ice cream cone. This is a pickle, pickle. This is a slide of Swiss cheese, a slide of Swiss cheese. This is a slide of salami, a slide of salami. This is a lollipop, lollipop. This is a piece of cherry pie, a piece of cherry pie. This is a sausage, sausage. This is a cupcake, cupcake. This is a slide of watermelon a slide of watermelon this is a caterpillar caterpillar this is a cocoon cocoon this is a butterfly butterfly this is leaf leaf this is moon, moon. This is sun, sun. This is an egg, egg. There we go. Now you are ready for the story. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. But 
but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomachache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. questions all right so the first one was the caterpillar hungry or angry very good now the second one name the food the caterpillar ate in the story there you go good job I hope you liked this story and I will see you next time bye bye